Welcome to a video from the Digital Lifestyle Com. In this video, I wanted to quickly show you how uh, how well Windows 10 X runs on a Lumia 950 XL. That's right, a Lumia 950 XL for 2015, I think, uh, running an unreleased version of Windows 10. So um, this is a build I was given. Uh, it's not an official build from Microsoft, so this is not something you can just download and install from Microsoft. Hopefully, it'll, Microsoft will make these available uh, soon. But it is a build of Windows 10 running on a, a Lumia 950 XL. So, if you've seen any videos of Windows 10 uh, X, you'll look, see it's pretty much exactly the same. We've got the Start menu button down here at the bottom, and then you've got your Applications, and you can go into, into things like Settings, and uh, you can see there we've got all the settings, all the modern settings, exactly as uh, Windows 10. Um, you can see it's nice and quick as well. It's um, It works pretty well on here. You've, I've got Wi-Fi set up, calling, uh, SIM you know, carrier data doesn't work but uh, Wi-Fi works on here and it seems fairly responsive as well and it's got the built-in apps like to do the file explorer this is the Windows 10 file explorer so this is the one that's OneDrive based rather than being based on local file system because Windows 10 X is a sort of lockdown operating system so you only get to see the user accessible files and not all the data so uh, okay so some of it is working and some of it isn't we'll see if we can get that working one thing i found doesn't work is microsoft edge you just get a black screen that's because uh, edge on uh, arm doesn't support accelerated gpu you need to disable that and I haven't found a way of disabling the gpu yet uh, GPU acceleration from Microsoft Edge. If, if you're on a Windows 10 PC, you just type MS Edge dash disable GPU or something something like that. Um, but of course, you can't just delve into the file system. You can't go into the, into File Explorer and go into the program directory. It's not there. So that's something that uh, hopefully uh, we can get uh, get a workaround for. Because I like to get Edge working on it. Because apart from um, Edge not working, everything else seems pretty good really. The news app, which uh, is working okay, so this is using the Chromium engine. I'm pretty sure. So, but it, you know, that works okay. So, you can see you've got apps like that. I can switch back through. I can go to the Photos app. I've got Windows Security, got Alarm Clock. Let's have a look at the Weather app. So, there's the Weather app, a familiar app for uh, from Windows 10. But you can see working nice on there, nice and smooth. And if I switch back to the news app. See, it's it's all nice and swift to switch back and forth between applications, and you've got the task switcher as well. And I can switch between them. So actually, believe it, you know, for such an old device designed to run Windows Phone Mobile or Windows 10 Mobile uh, in 2015, it's running a future version of Windows uh, that's that's due to come out. And uh, of course, Windows 10 X is a lighter version of Windows designed to run on uh, lighter form factor devices. But this works remarkably well. You've got the um, notification center on there where I can adjust the brightness and bring the keyboard up and that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it just works exactly as the power options as well. Uh, it works as you would expect. So all I really need to do is get Chrome working. I'll get Edge working on it, I should say. I can't install an application like Chrome because it's Windows 10X. Uh, but get the browser working on it. And then it's actually a function functional device. I would say, having installed a full version of Windows 10 on here as well, I've got videos of that. Actually, Windows 10X works much better than Windows 10 on a little device like this. So it's just see, never know. We could maybe see uh, Windows 10X on a dual screen device like the Surface Duo in the future. Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I'll update this when I get a bit more information and a bit more progress with it. And uh, um, let's hope Microsoft bring us out, give us an official build to play around with soon.